everyone, welcome to your channel, Message Magic Hour with me. This is Brooke, and welcome back to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a couple of weeks. <laughs> that was a cat. It's been a couple of weeks since I did the last channeled message magic hour because of Christmas holidays and the new year. So I hope everyone had a blessed holiday season and happy new year. And thank you for coming back and joining me. This is going to be for the week of January 3rd to January 10th. And now that I've changed my format, to weekly readings, the magic hour most likely will fall on a Wednesday. So just expect it now instead of Mondays, expect it on a Wednesday. So I think we can work that out. I wanted to share with you guys, uh, there's a cat fight happening right in front of me. I wanted to share with you uh, some things that I got for Christmas, uh, which I thought were up the magical alley, so to speak. And... Um, one of them was a book called Walking on the Wind, which is by Michael T. Garrett. And this is Cherokee Teachings for Harmony and Balance. And this was given to me by my aunt, and she very much is uh, always giving me books about Native American studies, Native American traditions, Native American ways. So I haven't dived into this yet. But it's very interesting, so I'm excited to get into that. And then we have, if no one has ever seen this, or perhaps you have this yourself, it's the Wee Moon 2018 uh, Calendar Journal. And um, it's pretty interesting. I've seen these before in magical shops, and I've never had one. It kind of reminds me of... Um, the Witch's Date Book or the Witch's Date Book Journal that you can get. I think that's through Llewellyn. This is through Mother Mother Tongue Inc. And I'm sure you could find this online. We Moon, Gaya Rhythms for Women with a Y. And it's very interesting. It has like uh, the moon phases of each month. It also has different yearly glances like here's one for Capricorn for the year and all the other astrological signs. And um, I'm gonna read about Capricorn actually. It has, uh, features different poets and different artists. Um, it has, it's a date book, so each day tells you the moon phase. It also tells you the astrological phase for the day. So that'll be fun to use as well. Before I read about Capricorn in this book, I also got a smudge stick and it's the blue sage and osha root i've never had uh blue sage and i've never had osha roots this will be interesting to burn i always get the white sage sticks so smells really nice well through the packaging it doesn't really smell as strong as like traditional white sage and then i got these cute little candles that i'm going to use um, they probably don't burn that long, but cute little candles made in Guatemala. Uh, so that's pretty cool too. So those are just some few of the things that I got for Christmas. So let's look at, because we're in the sun sign of Capricorn, and my moon's in Capricorn as well. So Saturn and Pluto, because Capricorn's ruled by Saturn. Saturn and Pluto exert powerful influence in Capricorn this year, hunkering down on questions of identity, career, and wider questions like, what do you do? What do you do in the world? Are you committed to a worthy cause? While focusing on larger issues of destiny, remember the importance of joy and passion, especially this August and September, as Saturn trines Uranus, express authenticity, via creative life affirming projects, love affairs, or work with children, these may become financial career opportunities. So that's really cool. And then it goes into it goes into other things as well. And I like that. So this is from copyright the sky priestess. I guess that's the author of that. So interesting. So I'm gonna do a weekly general reading. I've already laid out the cards. I'm using my uh, La, La Marseille deck. 
So let's jump into the reading and see what's going on for the week of January 3rd to January 10th. So we start off the week with the Eight of Wands comes in. And when I see the Eight of Wands, it's very much about anything that was slow paced or delayed or was stagnant. There's been some sort of road opener now for many. Things are gonna to start to come in very quickly. If, you, if perhaps for those that are waiting on an answer or a result, or perhaps are applying for jobs or waiting to receive something, something very quickly is going to be coming in with the Eight of Wands energy because it's very much about speed. Next to this, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So it very much reminds me of job interviews, searching for employment, applying for jobs, something relatable to your job. This also could be in the earliest beginning stages of like the apprenticeship stage for many as well. So there's two eights in the reading. And when I see a prominence of eights, this suggests a need for equal, equilibrium and harmony and balance. So something's very much going to come into balance for those that are watching. So this is a general weekly open reading for everyone. So if this resonates and the message comes, comes through, that's the purpose. So two eights in the reading, which is very interesting, right off the get-go. It seems as if there could be some way, some, some wean, oh Lord, someone, <laughs> someone who may be working behind the scenes with the seven of swords. So there may be someone who perhaps is giving you, and I don't see this as a negative with the seven of swords influence. Someone may be working behind the scenes in terms of, giving you a reference or giving you a good word or helping you out behind the scenes, uh, helping you with attaining something this week, referrals, referring you out, okay? And they may not even tell you that they're doing this with the Seven of Swords energy. So there could be an element of perhaps an anonymous donor or an anonymous reference or an anonymous person who's working behind the scenes on your behalf to help you, okay? So that's coming in as well. Because the ability to manifest is high this week with the magician. And when the magician comes in, it's very much about the ability for manifestation, the ability to remain open and limitless to the receptivity to receiving. So the magician is always about being the captain of your destiny, being the manifester of your of your dreams. So the ability to manifest if you've been trying to manifest and in going into the brand new year, or even if you've been trying to manifest with something, you may start to see results this week with the magician. Okay. And it may come in very quickly with the eight of wands energy. This is a new beginning for many with the Three of Cups. This also could be an emotional fulfillment new beginning as well. This could be forming new friendships, new uh, relationships, especially in the workplace. So when the Three of Cups shows up, it's very much about new starts, new beginnings, and on an emotional fulfilling level. So if you're looking not only for a job or career, you're looking for a community of people. You're looking for your tribe. You're looking for people that have similar interests. Very much can be found this week from January 3rd to the 10th of meeting like-minded people that have like-minded similarities as you that makes the enjoyment of going to your job or career just more than a job or career or a paycheck, so to speak, okay? Because there's great success. The world showed up. The world to me is all about recognition, reward, fulfillment, great success. Having also the feeling of things coming full circle. Like you've arrived, okay? You've arrived. Being more noticed this week as well. And whatever career or whatever job or whatever industry that you're in, people are starting to notice you. So there's a, there's a form of reward that comes with that. So any hard work 
that you've put into something, you're really starting to see results from that coming in, especially with accomplishment, okay? So the I put a great quote up on my Instagram one time, and I think, I think it was, work a job until you no longer have to be introduced, okay? So it's that kind of feeling. It's being recognized. It's, it's recognition. It's receptance. It's act, <laughs> receptance and act, uh, I can't speak for God's sakes. Receptance, but acceptance. Okay, I got that out. So there's, there's some form of recognition this week, even though you may not be feeling it. Okay, even though you're, you're just kind of like, you know, what is she talking about? Because this ain't happening for me. There seems to be something that's going to conclude this week of finally formally being recognized for something, for your achievements. On the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. So this is going to bring a lot of you great joy, a lot of you great happiness, especially from a, a group of people. This could also be your family. This also could be your logical family. What was I watching? I was either watching something or reading something about, um, oh yeah, that's right. I was watching something on PBS over the weekend. And this person was talking about acceptance by his logical family and how sometimes our biological family may not give us the unconditional love that we that we expect it often can come from our logical family which is people that we meet in our life that become very close to us very close friends and family okay so it may not be blood related it could be coming as what he described as logical family and i can't remember his name um, it was on PBS and he's a writer and, uh, oh, I wish I could remember his name, but it was a really fascinating story about him. So anyway, so the 10 of cups comes in That's a card of joy, completion, happiness. Okay. So anything that's worrying many, somebody's working on your, beh on your behalf behind the scenes and the seven of swords energy is a card of kind of being sneaky, but it's not in the negative from this reading. It's being sneaky, like sending someone uh, something of yours that you're not even aware that they've done. Check this out kind of thing. Can you help this person out? You know, someone's working on your behalf behind the scenes. So that's a very interesting reading for the week. So that's fascinating. Let's see if that applies to people that are watching right now and see if let me know if anything comes about with that for you as well so i'm eager i'm waiting on i i don't own a lot of tarot decks you know i i'm not one of these tarot collectors that have like 50 decks because <laughs> every deck that i have i use it i use every single deck that i use and i probably only have really seven decks and I ordered a brand new deck over Christmas and it hasn't arrived yet. And it's freezing cold here. It's like 12 degrees. <laughs> and I'm every day running out to the mailbox. Is it here? Is it here? But it hasn't arrived yet. But uh, it's the Morgan Greer Tarot deck. And I've always, that's been on my tarot wish list. I have a tarot wish list that I created on Amazon. Uh, if I can try to retrieve that link, it's public. So if you want to see all the decks that I want. Uh, there's a lot of cool decks out there that I really, really want. But this was one of them. It was a tie. It was between the Morgan Greer Tarot deck or the um, Crystal Visions Tarot deck, which is very, very pretty, very feminine. Lots of lavender, pink, and purple colors. Um, very fantasy-like. But Morgan Greer uses a lot of primary colors, and the images are really kind of not so much in the distance. They're very much... Up in your face and I know a lot of readers have used the Morgan Greer and it's an old deck so I just always wanted the Morgan Greer so I'm excited to use it and get to know that deck because you'll be seeing it on my YouTube channel so that's what's happening I hope everybody's having a blessed New Year so far and I also hope that you're enjoying these weekly readings that I'm putting out as well 
YouTube, for some reason, has demonetized a lot of my videos that's happening all across the board for other YouTube creators. It's very frustrating. And I don't make any money from YouTube. <laughs> I don't make any money from YouTube. And then my subscriber count was dropping the last week. And I'm like, what? Am I blacklisted? Like, what is going on? I don't see it going up. So I'm like, the subscriber count keeps going down. And I, and I know that YouTube will do that if there are people with accounts that are just kind of, um, they're not using them. I don't know. So my subscriber count's going down. Then I was reading a thing about how your subscriber count really doesn't matter as long as you're getting loyal, faithful viewers. And I'm like, well, that makes more sense, you know. Um, so that's, YouTube's been driving me crazy lately. I've been on here, it'll be four years in May. It's been quite a journey for me in a most positive way. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but YouTube lately is just like, really? So, who knows? But, um... Let me know your comments below, and um, if you want to share anything from what I've read about or talked about, please do so. Also, if you're interested in sending me anything through the mail, I had a few clients send me Christmas cards over the holidays, which was so sweet. <laughs> if you want to send me anything in the mail, um, or a letter, or anything at all, please do so. You can email me at nightbirdterror at gmail.com and I'll give you my address. I don't have it here on uh, public publicly because it's a primary address. Um, but yeah, if you want to uh, send me anything in the mail, please do so. If you want to check out the tarot decks that I'm interested in, I'll try to post that down there as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this Magic Hour channel message. And have a great week this week. And you'll be seeing more of me here on YouTube for 2018. So take care, everybody, and I'll speak to you soon.